Are you drinking? This is apple juice. Nobody actually likes my topic that I chose because no one else has done a video this week. Huh. Anywho, we wanted to share our holiday memories. And I was gonna share a memory from Christmas time, which is awesome, but then he reminded me of a Halloween story. So I thought I'd tell that one instead. Is it good? <laughs> you look really happy. Are you like drunk right now? No. It's just drunk. really good. It's a really good story. So my story is Halloween. On Halloween. I want to say three years ago, I was chilling with um, one of my bosses because we hung out like that. We went to gay clubs together. Anywho, um, so it was Halloween uh. and it, <laughs> it happened. Let it go. It was like completely packed. Like everyone was like dancing like together like this. And all of a sudden, my boss reaches in, a po in his pocket, and his iPhone's gone. And he was like, "What the crap?" So I'm helping him look for it on the floor. I turn around to like make sure I grab my bag before walking away. And there's like a tranny like going through my bag. And I was like, "What the crap? Are you serious?" Like I was so. I can't even tell you. I can't even like make you understand how mad I was. I was so mad. I was like, yo, I don't need a knife to cut a bitch. Like I was there, like, like I don't usually swear on these videos, but I was serious. I was like, I'm remembering how mad I was. I was like, I was like, it takes one pound of pressure to cut skin, and I got two pounds right here. Like I'm serious. And I was like, hi, hello. Yeah, you're in my bag. I don't know if you knew. Did you? Did, uh, okay, yeah, get, get out, get out. And I knew that she was the one who took my phone, or shook his phone, rather. And I was so mad at her. I was just like, I will smack you. I will smack you the next week. I was like, I can't even believe. Oh, ah. You can't steal from people just because it's Halloween. You think that's okay. Just start, like, picking up <laughs> No. <laughs> it's like pulling up. What? We just left before I punched her. And we were walking out, and um, we got to the corner where the subway was. You just walk out so you can drink. Just drink on camera, seriously? You told me it was apple juice. Nobody believes you. I really like apple juice. <laughs> we walked to the subway, and I say bye to him, and I bye to my friend, and he's like, no, it's fine, whatever, I'll get a new cell phone, whatever. So I leave. Later on, he tells me that as soon as I left, he was like waiting above ground because he didn't want to walk down because he was a little tipsy, and he didn't want to be like down with the train and everything while he was drunk. He might fall on the tracks and then die or whatever. So he was gonna wait for the train to come and then he was actually gonna go down and hop on the train. Before he got down, he heard someone scream, oh God, no, or something like that. And then he turned around and he, he said he remembers hearing sort of like a shot. And then he remembers seeing someone holding someone else saying, no, don't leave me. And the one person was like, he saw like a body with like a face that looked like a bowl of jelly. But he doesn't actually like cognitively like remember, it's just like a flash, like a little picture in his mind. The next thing he remembers is like being 10 streets up and the police are questioning him, yo, what did you take? You do drugs you want? Because he's probably like in shock or something and he didn't remember what was going on. That's terrible. Right? The next thing he remembers, he was in a cab and the thing he remembers after that is he was just like in his apartment standing in front of the mirror with someone else's blood on his face. He has no memory of it and he is like, I dread the day when that comes back. So, that's, I don't know, my most memory, memorable Halloween. That's a random holiday. That's what was yours? Yeah, no, cool. it was so, it so it freaked me out. And I was like, maybe I should have waited five minutes. I got a you. couple till after four. We're talking about in, in uh, independence. So I'm sitting there chilling. I go to my friend's house. I thought we were going to hang out, go out like a 30 pack of beers. So I'm cooling. Now this guy lives by himself. His parents live in another country and I'm he's sure here managing in the house. I'm not sure. So it's get over his house. Is I this, find out all of his all his doors are wide open. Is this G G rated? Me being a friend that I am, I decide to close the doors in the house. In the midst of closing the doors, I hear a rumble and a shake down by where the pants quit. Yeah, you know I mean, I think you understand what I'm saying. My stomach started giving me the BGs. So I'm closing this man's house and so I run upstairs. It's kind of later in the night, so like stuff starts bursting in the sky. I'm in this guy's house and my stomach gets the rumble. As my stomach gets to rumbling, my body starts crumbling. Okay, this is the party house. This guy's done, there's no parents, he's hanging out. So I go to the bathroom, and I'm in the bathroom, and I'm working that toilet out. I mean, me and that toilet got some fights going on. It's Rocky IV, I'm Rocky. Toilet's the big Russian. It's getting real. It got real. As I'm going through that situation, all of a sudden I hear, doom, 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 doom. What the? It's going on in my house. Honey, we're done. It's freaking Independence Day. And I got someone shitting in my house. When your pants are on your ankles, there's only so much you can say. Tad insult to injury, he opened the door, and I ran out. Never talked to him again. It's called being a good friend when you close his house, okay? Yeah. It's but breaking and entering when you take a crap in his toilet. 
kind of blurs the blurs the lines a little bit. Yeah. So, <laughs> if any of you are wondering how it is that I'm like suburban and chick and he's like ghetto boy. <laughs> What's to do with our friends during high school? Yeah, so I, I, I put myself out there, so I'm a little bit different. Because like, I push myself Meanwhile, way out Meanwhile, I stayed there. at home and joined the musical. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to teach know. me ebonics, seeing as you guys... Oh, you didn't help me out listen, with the video responses. The ebonics video is going to be perfect. I got the best idea for it, you guys. But you guys want to... I'm telling you, it's going to be... It's going to be... Is it what? They don't even use words for that. No, but what... Number one! Alright guys, I oh, hope you enjoyed my brother. He has some videos. Check him out in the doobly doo below. Please remember to like and favorite everyone's videos this week. I hope everyone else joins in on this. I'm not sure what kept JK and Andrew. What, you just gonna walk around the bathroom? Did you, you see my cup of apple juice? It's not apple juice. It's straight tequila. Don't pretend. <laughs> I didn't have any. Completely sober right now. Just stand in amazement of him. We do remember to check in tomorrow to see what Gretchen's favorite holiday memories are. As we love you guys, and please make sure you guys are putting in video responses as well. The reason why we didn't have a Saturday video last week is because none of you put in videos. Saturday is your day. If no one puts in videos, then we have no Saturday video to put up. Kind of the way it goes. I absolutely love you guys. You guys rock out loud. And I will see you next week Wednesday.